All right, apologies for for the fact that I've simmed through a lot of the not a lot of it, but uh, some of the pre-season. Um, I didn't realise that um, not simmed. I mean, just skipped. I didn't realise I wasn't recording. But basically, what happened is I simmed my last two friendlies against teams I've never. Well, Monterey I've heard of. I didn't hear them for a team. I worked, drew one on one, lost two one, I believe. Um, I sold Ryan Taylor for two hundred fifty grand, which gives me that left, and I have actually used my scout to scout out for a striker because I feel that is a position we need. I've got Bulldog and Jet that plays just behind, but the only other backup I've got is Marlon Howard and um, Kevin Cran. So the, the up front is where I want to be not my most strongest in, in depth. So I'm currently scouting for another one. I, I found Matty Fry it, so I'm. Ask my scout to scout in more thoroughly. Um, yeah, that was pretty much all that has happened. I haven't played my first match yet. It's, we're going to play that now, and it's against Leighton Orient, unfortunately. A good team, and we're away from home. So no doubt it'll be another very boring match. Let's just do our teams before we get into it. Okay, so... I'm actually going to start with Frankie Fielding. Defence is alright, I want Oberton starting and not Wagstaff. He did tell me he wanted to start this match, but I'm sorry, that's just not going to happen. The rest, of them, the rest of the team's fine, just change the bench round. We have no striker on the bench now, so I better sort that out and get Harewood on next. I'm only have a striker, and I'll bring Jordan Winter on because I want to start, I want to play some of my youngsters as much as possible, really. Specifically, Bobby Reed, Joe Bryan, they're going to start pretty much every match, unless they're knackered. I want to play Jordan Winter, see if he'll improve. Uh, Wes Burns, I'll try to play a bit. I'll probably use him on the left wing now. And Jacob Murphy, definitely. And perhaps Kevin Cran's probably going to play cup matches. Uh, the League Cup. And Johnson's paint trophy and stuff. Um, that's it. Yeah, okay. So I'm now going to just switch to post commentary. So I'll see you in a in a second. Oh, sorry about that. Br 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 Bristol City. So anyway, uh, like I said before, this is a, a big game. It's late Orient away, which are a top, top League One team. Not the best way to start uh, in League One campaign. Um, so let's get this started. This is again just uh, brief highlights of of this match as I just go through the uh, starting lineup there really quickly. And we start off kick off. We're kicking off. We're playing in our black shirts as we're the away team. But the first highlight comes in. It's late. Orient gets on the wing. Can't get to him. Crosses it in. Headed back by a wing player. Right to the head of Kevin Lisby, who heads it in, and that is one nil. Leighton Orient. Another good start, being one 0 down. So the second attack comes along. Leighton Orient keeper. No, nope. that's half time. <laughs> so half time, one nil to the Orient. Not the best first half. Um, they've only had the one shot on target, but they scored it. Very clinical. Not an interesting first half, in all honesty. Okay, Leighton Orient's got the ball again. Again, I'm just, they've got so many players in support, no one picked him out. Looped it over our defenders, he gets there first, hits it under fielding. And it's Mooney, Money, and it's 2-0. Really not a good game at this point, I'm thinking this is a lost cause. So I'm gunning for it now. Um, passed over to uh, Murphy. Manuel Thomas in a bit of space, hits it, and it's 2-1. I pulled a goal back, I do actually try and collect the ball here, but... Instead of doing that, he decides to dive into the net. But it's 2 1, I'm back in the game. Just a goal left, one goal left to uh, equal terms. Goes through that defender's legs, unsighted the goalie. So uh, at least I'm back in it, I'm back with a chance. I am going to hone it. I don't think I've I may have made one change. But um, you see, it's played through my defence. Don't want to keep that on. Pass it through, nice bit of passing by uh, by us here. As he finds Emmanuel Thomas in some space, he hits it off the post, and it's 2 2. Come back. Great comeback so far from 2 0 down. They're not playing particularly well to 2 2. Come back as well and truly on here. And we're looking for a winner. Great little ball through to Emmanuel Thomas. Throw himself 1 1. <coughs> and that was a lovely goal, front right from the back. Couldn't get any further back from when that goal started. <coughs> So it's the very last minute of the game. 
a throw in or didn't get it off gets a cross in <coughs> headed away but my player didn't get it as another cross comes in header and he scored 3-2 last minute of the game can't believe how gutter I am and this let's see how much longer is left in this match shall we where they look dangerous the timing was great and the bravery to get ahead of his man and there we go full time that was how long there was left in the match it was almost the last kick of the game they had to win it so League One campaign doesn't start very well a 3-2 defeat that is played one lost one see the stats here three shots on target three goals I only had the one more shot than them um Sports live coverage of the Capital One Cup. It's Brentford against Bristol City. All right. Sorry about that. We'll go on to the second game. This is um, a League Cup match. Nothing happened in between. It was only a two or three day break. Um, and I will get straight to the next match to try and get a win. And I do not want to get knocked out of the Capital One Cup first round. And I want to get that defeat out of the system. Um, I'm playing a, a pretty full strength team here because for those reasons I want to get a win under my belt and I want to progress in the Capital One Cup to at least face a Prem team. So here we go, Brentford though away, another hard team, they're a very good League One team in real life. Right, let's get this under and away. So first attack falls to us. Position here. Cuts back, falls the defender, takes a shot, and that is narrowly wide. It looked like the uh, goalie did have that covered, but uh, still, it's good to have a, a first attack. And goalie takes a goal kick straight from there. Um, and a mistake from my defender as I get the tackle in. Am I going to get to the first? I do, but it's saved by the goalkeeper. Two shots in uh, quick succession. And we get another shot, but that is wide. From Sam Bordock. So, a very good shot. We're producing the pressure big time. And another shot there from J. Emmanuel Thomas. Very good save. And he even keeps it on by doing that acrobatic clearance. And I knock it out wide. But this is all me. They haven't had a shot. Shall we go to the next highlight? I'm in possession of the ball. Oh, I still managed to keep it there somehow. This is Liam Kelly. Passes it on. Sam Bordock opens himself up and hits it right into the bottom corner, a lovely finish. I love that Bulldogs just sort of opened himself up to position that ball where he wanted it. Bang, lovely, 1-0 up, very good, very happy with that. And Bulldog gets his first goal of the season. So, oh, a lovely free ball, Emmanuel Thomas, one-on-one -on -one here, takes a side foot shot and dearie me. <laughs> That is not jet-like. That is uh, not the best finish. I was pretty good with that. I'm thinking I need to take my chances. I'm not going to get much more of a clear-cut opportunity than that. But I do get another chance here. Shoots, but well wide from uh, Greg Cunningham. And they haven't had a single shot this half so far. We go into the very last minute. No more shots happened. It's half-time. Brentford have no shots. I'm surprised at this. It's such a contrast between the first match. Brentford... They're struggling. We are. We, we were dominant in that first half. So we start second half. I make no subs, and um, we end the second half because nothing happened in it. My dominance was nowhere near as much as the first half. But Brentford went along, and still didn't have a single shot against me. And I progress through to the second round. I knock out Brentford. Happy with that. I get my first win under my belt. And we're pro progressing through to the next round of the cup. And we were fairly dominant against them as well. So, a big, big difference compared to the uh, late in the round match. you see the stats in a minute. And you see how dominant I was. But yeah, that's the end of uh, this part. See you next time, and we'll see if we can get that win in the league and continue that dominance there. Thanks for watching. Well, now it's time for the classified results.